Then we build this green part out. The green part is very strong, flexible, so easy to roll. So they use it to make sandals, baskets, and small boats. But the inner part is the most important. We cut it to slice to make the pit. But this part contains sugar, water, and gelatin, so it is very easy to break. So we use this hammer to break the fiber in the back. Then we use this rod to move water up. So that water come out. Now it's more stronger, flexible, so easy to roll. Then we put this slice in pure water for six days and change the water every day to reduce the sugar on it. But if we want to get back and run like that, we put the slice in water two weeks. That means more time in water, more darker color without any chemicals material. Then we arrange the slice between two pieces of cotton in horizontal and vertical way like that. We arrange all the slices firstly in this way, then we put it in this other way. And we complete all horizontal and vertical and put the other pieces and put them under this hammer press. By the ancient time, use the biggest stones to make a slice stack together and press them tightly for another six days. Now, after six days in water, another six days under this hammer press, we have the papyrus paper like this. Very strong, very flexible, and so easy to roll. And this paper is very good except any, it's very good except any kind of color. Okay, watercolor, gouache, aquarelle, everything is possible. Then we sent this paper to the professional art in the Faculty of Fine Art in Cairo University to draw all designs here. All these designs, like the designs in Egyptian Museum and tombs in Nobs and Aswan. This one is the most famous and the most, most important story in our history. You can see you can see this one in the Egyptian Museum in second floor. It's called Last Judgment Day. That's one day after this and before the second life. The story started from here. This one is the dead person, kneels in front of 14 gods. They asked him about his first life, and he answered and tried to define himself. I am good man, don't make anything wrong in my first life. But just seven bleed him and give him cave life symbol of eternity and happiness. But another seven didn't believe him. So take him a novice get of mummification and put his heart here. In another side put the feather of justice, the feather of goddess night, the goddess of justice. If his heart heavier than the feather, that means he is a dancing person and this animal eats his heart and takes his body to heart. But our man here is a very good person because his heart is lighter than the feather. So, go with Horus, the god of protection, to paradise. In paradise, we can see Osiris, god of paradise, his wife Isis, god of love, his sister Nephthys, god of magic and beauty. With lotus flower, symbol of love, and the eye of Horus, the eye of protection from envy, black magic, bad people, everything bad. Good? Mm. Do you want to ask about anything? Okay.